Welcome to our Rescue Experience Center. My name is Rens de Jonge. I'm a rescue consultant for Holmatro. Today I'm going to talk to you about cutting performance. And to make my job a bit easier, my heavy duty friend here is going to assist me. This is the inclined version, but we also have it available with traditional blades. But more about that in another video. First of all, we have the maximum cutting force. This can be an extremely high number, but please keep in mind that it doesn't tell you anything about real cutting performance. If we would swap these high-grade steel cutter blades with blades made of wood, this tool would still have the same theoretical cutting force, but no cutting performance at all. It's important to know that all cutter forces are calculations and not actual measurements. Then we have the cutter classifications of the EN and NFPA standards for hydraulic rescue tools. The classification a cutter gets is based on its capacity to repeatedly cut a certain number of material profiles in different shapes and sizes. Here we see our heavy duty CU5060 cutter in action on a piece of solid steel round bar. By the way, this is the only cutter under 20 kilograms or 44 pounds with the maximum all mine NFPA rating. Although it's very reassuring to see this cutter make mincemeat of a big steel bar like that, the only thing that counts is its actual performance on the car. So let's test it on the B pillar of this late model BMW. We have attached a pressure gauge to the pump to see how much of the cutter's full capacity it takes to make the cut. As you can see, there is still capacity left to cut the stronger pillars of future car models. So what defines a cutter's actual performance on a car? It's not just cutting force, and it's certainly not the performance or material profiles that don't exist in cars. What does make the difference is smart tool design. If we take a look at this Holmatro cutter, we see U-shaped new car technology blades designed to compress the material way down into the cutting recess, which is the strongest point of the cutter. We also see the eye bolt a flat central bolt construction without a blade holder in between. It squeezes the blades together directly and more tightly. This minimizes blade separation, which results in a better cutting performance. Long story short, Design is a very important factor when it comes to cutting performance. The numbers are nice, but the real story is how the tool performs on actual vehicles that you will be seeing on the streets of your city or town. That's it for now. Watch more videos on our YouTube channel or contact your Holmatro dealer for a product demonstration. See you next time.